In the famous tomb of the boy king, not only were numerous artifacts found, including jewelry, furniture and weapons, but also an ancient method of contraception. When Tutankhamun's tomb was first discovered in 1922, archaeologist Howard Carter was stunned by the astonishing amount of funerary equipment, more than 5,000 artifacts designed for the boy king to use in his afterlife. But among all the gold, silver, ivory, precious jewelry, weapons, furniture, fine linen and rare incense, a small piece of cloth caught the eyes of Egyptologists. As it turned out, it was Tutankhamun's condom. The condom of Tutankhamun, which contained traces of his DNA, was made of fine linen soaked in olive oil and attached to a rope that would have been tied around his waist. Dated to 1350 BC, it is the oldest known condom. However, since the condom was used as a contraceptive rather than for ritual purposes or to prevent disease, it was of little use. Remarkably, the remains of two fetuses were also found in the pharaoh's tomb, and genetic testing revealed that Tutankhamun was the father.